Hey guys, it's LEGO Bully Z3. Today we're going to try and calculate pi using Rubik's Cubes. So if you guys didn't realize, today is Pi Day, March 14th or 3-14 matching the 3.14 of the number pi. Now if you don't know what pi is, well I'm not going to explain it so go ahead and look it up, but most simply it's the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of a circle, so you divide the outer part of a circle by the distance across, and that's pi. Now of course pi is 3.1415 etc, it goes on forever, and I've memorized over 100 digits of it, so if you want to see that video it'll be in the description, but if you want to go ahead and calculate it for yourself, the easiest way is to just measure the outside of a circle and divide it by the inside diameter of the circle. And so when you think about Rubik's Cubes, the easiest way is to take a circular Rubik's Cube, but I'm going to do this on a 5x5 barrel just to get a little bit more precision. But basically what we're going to do is measure the outside of the cube in the number of cubies, and then divide that by 5 because that's the number of cubies going on the diameter, and then we should have pi. And so this is a cube that's pretty much the equal length of this cube. And so what we need to do is just kind of move this cube around. You see that's five cubies. Just measure the entire distance around. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm going to start maybe middle of the green side, like right here. All right, there we go. I've made it three times around the cube, so that's 15 cubies. And then if I move it over to where it was, almost 16 cubies, let's say 15 and two thirds. So if we put that into a calculator real quick, 15 and 2 thirds divided by 5, which is the diameter, and we get 3.13. So there you go, there is a pretty good approximation of pi using a barrel cube, but let's go a little bit bigger and maybe get a little bit of a better approximation. So what I'm going to do is first just draw out a little bit of a circle here using a piece of string, and then I'm going to set out as many 3x3s as I have that are around 56 or 57 millimeters. So pretty much any cube that's around the same size should work for this because that's all I need, the size. And then I'll set those all around the circle. And so I needed to figure out exactly how many cubes it would take to get all the way around the circle. Now it actually wasn't a whole number of cubes, I did have a little bit of a space open at the end, so I put a floppy cube in, which is around one cubie or one third of a cube, and in the end it was 61 and a third cubes all the way around. Now what I did, because I didn't have quite enough cubes, is I took some of them out of the circle so I could measure the diameter. And so I pretty much just lined them up across the circle, measuring exactly from point to point on the circle. So in the end, I was able to put 19 whole cubes across the circle, and then I had about a half a cube left over. So it was 19.5 across the diameter. So then if we go ahead and work this out with a calculator, we had 61 and a third cubes around the outside of the circle. Divide that by the diameter of 19.5 cubes, and we get 3.145. So that's a pretty good approximation, it's not quite on that fourth digit, but it is pretty good, we got the 3.14, which is pretty much all we need for Pi Day. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out, I think it's a pretty good approximation for just measuring a circle, but that is pretty much it for today. Happy Pi Day everyone, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!